ya es septiembre y les tengo como retrasada un mes y medio casi la sorpresa que les prometí, pero ya estamos aquí. Ay, hola, ¿qué tal amigos de Have a Nice Day? Sean bienvenidos de nuevo a su canal de patinaje en español. Si son nuevos, ya saben, los invito a que se suscriban y le den clic a la campanita para que YouTube les avise cada vez que yo subo un nuevo video. Los que han estado conmigo en los en vivos, los que han seguido mis redes sociales, sobre todo mi Instagram, que ahí es donde pongo la mayoría de cosas que pongo en redes sociales personales mías, se habrán dado cuenta de que yo tengo pendiente con ustedes una sorpresa que les había dicho que les iba a poner y que yo estaba muy emocionada y todo, pero esta sorpresa sucedió a finales del mes de julio y yo en agosto estuve como en la loca y dejé el canal un poquito abandonado y tal, pero ya volví, ya por favor quédanme de nuevo. Eh, esta sorpresa es una entrevista a Madison Bullock. Ella creó una película muy, muy bonita que se llama Ice Movie, que se trata de dos amigas que básicamente crecen entrenando juntas y que al final tienen que competir una con la otra que es una película padrísima de patinaje, ya ven que les tenía pendiente igual hablar de películas muy muy buenas de patinaje entonces eh, les quería platicar un poquito sobre Ice Movie, esta es la entrevista que hicimos a finales de julio eh, por eso me van a ver con el pelo un poquito diferente pero eh, la entrevista está muy padre y además de todo eh, Madison nos regaló un código de descuento para que puedan ver la película, entonces quédense al final y se los repito. I grew up skating in uh, Colorado, mostly Colorado Springs. Um, then I did collegiate skating at UCLA. I moved to California and went to school there. Um, did a couple different shows and uh, then I wrote this skating movie, ice movie. So here we are. So did you ever leave skating or was it always a part of your life? Like it was always a part of my life. I think uh, that's something that skaters have in common is that it never really leaves you. <laughs> Even if you technically retire, there's a piece of you. It's, it's always in your heart. And how hard was it to write your first, um, your first movie script? Yeah, it was really tricky because I had so many different skating stories that I wanted to share. Uh, being involved in the sport for 20 years or so, it was like, ah, I want to tell this story and this story and I want to share this perspective, but getting it to one story was very tricky. Are you thinking about maybe making another script about figure skating? Yeah, right now um, I have a pilot for a TV show that's in development. We're also working towards um, a sequel and a book. So there's a whole bunch of different things uh, coming up. Well, that's amazing because there are not very much figure skating movies out there and not many of them are good. <laughs> yeah, that was part of the reason why I wanted to write it so badly was to Uh, make a film that the skaters themselves would be able to appreciate and enjoy. Um, so the movie release was last February with the Olympics, I remember. So um, this year there were a couple other figure skating movies coming out. So did you see this as an advantage or as a competition? How, how did you and your producers look at this release? Yeah, um, the thing is, I feel that there's really no such thing as competition in this area because the more skating content that is out there, the better, right? Like the more films that encourage kids to start skating or encourage people to come back to the sport, I'm all about that. Uh, so I think in a cool way, we can really bounce off of one another and, and help each other. So it's sort of like, oh, this movie came out neat. Have you heard of this movie? Oh, neat, we should see that too. So it's more of just um, building within the skating community rather than fostering competition. Okay, and also like in this internet era, like you look for a content and then it's connected to another one. So it kind of all helps. I yeah, think. no, you're right. It really does with all the hashtags and, and, and YouTube channels like what you're doing, which is totally awesome. I love your channel. Um, yeah, it's, it's a whole different world. <laughs> yeah, um, 
I was wondering how hard was it to bring such a complex sport like figure skating like to a broader audience that maybe isn't so familiar with it? How did you manage to make it more accessible? Um, that's a really good question. I had to do a lot of edits in the script to make sure that I wasn't using too many words that were that complicated <laughs> and very skating specific. I wanted to keep it specific enough that real skaters would watch it and say, okay, they're not calling drums twirls, right? They're still <laughs> words, but also an audience member can understand it. So I had the benefit of um, the other filmmakers on my team were not skaters. So they would sort of tell me when, okay, this doesn't make sense to me. Can you clarify? So having that that balance on my team really helped. How hard was it to find actors who could skate? Oh boy, I thought it was going to be really tricky, but the cool thing is, is I think skaters are such natural performers that it transitions really well into on-screen acting. Um, for instance, the young lady, Phoebe Stubblefield, who played the younger version of my character, I basically, I just walked into a rink and I saw her and I was like, oh my gosh, she's exactly what I envisioned, you know? And then she sent in an audition tape and she, like, it was amazing and she'd never acted before. So uh, I think fortunately, since they both um, involve performance and being comfortable in front of an audience and expressing yourself, that it's pretty easy to train um, figure skaters to be actors. What was your favorite scene to shoot? Um, my favorite scene to shoot was the scene with my dad, um, where we get very emotional about if we should continue to do the sport, all of the sacrifices involved. Um, because one, I, uh, I connected very deeply with that actor. We have a very strong bond on and off the camera. And two, it reminded me a lot of my relationship with my mom growing up in skating. Um, she was always so supportive and she sacrificed so much for me. And so I was channeling a lot of the feelings I had for my mom when I filmed that scene. Oh. <laughs> um, and what's next on your acting career besides skating? Yeah. Um, so I basically, um, I just finished um, a dramatic independent film about um, mental health in college. It's a really beautiful piece. Um, I acted in that, starred in that, and also helped produce that. So we're in post-production now, just editing that. Um, and then just whatever else comes up, it's kind of a crazy world. But definitely looking forward to getting the, the pilot for ice off the ground, getting that into the TV world is, is a big priority of mine. Um, do you see Eyes the Movie maybe getting into other platforms later? Yeah, it's certainly possible. Um, the new media game is always changing, so we're open to anything right now. We are um, looking forward to hopefully having like a Blu-ray release this uh, Christmas, which would be really cool. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you posted if we, we pop up on something else. So. I get a lot of questions to my channel, like from people all the time saying like, oh, I want to get into figure skating, but I think I'm too old. And people from all ages have the same question, like people, like girls 12 years old or 15 years old or huh? people who are older. So my question is, what would you say to this question? What would you say to people who want to start figure skating? Yeah, I say, that's just totally silly, and there's no age where you can no longer try something new. Um, I think that applies to anything in life. I personally, I didn't go to film school. I just started making movies because I wanted to, and it was a new passion of mine. So there's people that would argue that, oh, you need to be in Hollywood since you're like a little kid to have the right connections, or you need to go to this very elite film school to know what you're doing to make a movie, and I just, I didn't believe that. <laughs> Um, so I think for skating, if you have the passion and you have the work ethic and you're willing to put in the time to, um, you know, create that mind-body connection that's so essential for understanding your body on the ice, that there's, there's no age that you have to, you have to start at, especially with all the adult competitions they have now. 
Yeah, I, I want to go to the adult competitions yeah. someday. <laughs> you, can. you totally should. I've seen some of them. They're just like they're crazy, like really, really talented skaters. Would you dare to go someday to the, the adult competitions? Yeah, I I would not. Um, I wouldn't put it off the table. I have really I've done almost everything in skating aside from synchro. But I've done uh, ice theater, I've done shows, I did ice dance, I did singles. So I'm like, I would totally do that. <laughs> you did ice dance? I did, yeah. Um, I competed up to the novice level with my partner. That was really fun. So I competed um, singles maybe up until I was like 15. Then I got injured, and then I did ice dance, and I went back to singles, and then I uh, then I did skating in college. So, and finally, would you give a message for our Latin American fans uh, of figure skating for watching your movie? Yeah. So, um, Ice the Movie is a family friendly, inspirational movie about figure skating. Whether you are considering lacing up skates for the first time or you've been doing it for years, there's pieces in the film that you can connect with. Um, I highly encourage you to check it out and let us know what you think. I don't think this is something that we're ready for. I mean, no offense, but Tiger trapped in cage is still Tiger. You've been asleep since I picked you up from airport. Too bad I'm not training professional slipper. Of course not, sir. Veteran coach, Gavin Vera. He's serving as a surrogate father, if you will. Well, that's where the Virick sisters come in, right? They have an extreme bond, and they are just that, sisters. Based on what we saw today, the future is very bright for both of these girls, with Bailey Grant capturing the gold and Peyton Shaw coming in a close second. Hi, uh, I'm Jake Golden. Uh, pleasure to finally meet my favorite of the Varick sisters. Is it possible next year for you and Bailey both to win a gold medal? Well, why? Why are you making Bailey better than my daughter? I'm not making her better. Your daughter, she has troubles, crowds, stress. Run it again. I just wanted to say, Bailey, break a leg. You deserve to win. Oh, thanks. I think so, too. For the first time out there, I just felt myself. Why do you think the Shaws did this? Because she needed your training. This isn't a fairy tale, Bailey. I didn't think it was. You don't have to do this. It's where I belong. Bailey, the always pursuing your dreams. I still think you're the most beautiful skater in the whole world, Peyton Shaw. Three young talents that have a lot of skill, but Bailey Grantham and Peyton Shaw are the talk. Undoubtedly, fire and ice competitors. Y bueno amigos de Have a Nice Day, espero que les haya super encantado esta entrevista. Yo la verdad me emocioné muchísimo. Um, Fíjense bien, amigos de Javon Day. Aquí les voy a dejar el código para la compra de la película, que la pueden comprar en Amazon Prime o en Vimeo. Y eh, básicamente la pueden ver en cualquier lugar de Latinoamérica. Todavía no están disponibles los subtítulos en español, pero ya estamos trabajando en eso. Espero que les guste. Déjenme en los comentarios qué les pareció la entrevista. Y si tienen la oportunidad de ver la película, también cuéntenos qué les pareció la película. Síganos en nuestras redes sociales. Ahí también les voy a... Eh, platicar un poquito del código de descuento y de la película y tal. Estoy todavía investigando, informándome de películas padrísimas de patinaje, entonces pues déjenme en los comentarios qué les gustaría saber. Nos vemos el viernes con un nuevo tutorial, ya los viernes son de tutorial definitivo y estoy decidiendo entre el lunes o miércoles, también déjenme en los comentarios qué otro día les gustaría un video. Yo les mando muchos besos, muchos abrazos y como siempre les deseo muy felices patinadas. Nos vemos en el siguiente video. ¡Muah!